I've had a couple of Tom McDonald's videos recommended to me for my channel. And when I saw the thumbnail of him, I recognized his face. I believe I have seen at least one or more of his other videos, like uh, I want to say two or three years ago or so. Uh, from what I understand, he, he does rap. I'm not really into rap, but I do believe if this is the same guy, and I'm pretty sure it is, I do believe that his rap is typically has uh, a pretty strong message to it. Now, a lot of rap songs can, not all of them, obviously, but that's kind of, you know, that's, that's the way it can be with any type of song in any genre of music. But I was pretty curious to watch these latest videos of his. This one is canceled. There's another one called Fake Woke. I think that one is maybe newer than this one. One came out late January. The other came out early February. They're really, they're about the same time frame. But I decided to start with this one first because of what recently happened with Gina Carano. Most of you guys probably already know the deal with that. And I felt like it would be appropriate to watch this first. I kind of feel like it will touch on the same sort of subject matter that's been going on a lot in society and that I have touched on also a few times at least in some of my videos. You guys, if you've watched any of my other stuff, you already know how I feel about that. So I'm not going to get into hashing that out again before I just go ahead and watch this video. I might, I'll probably touch on that on how I feel again afterwards. But let's go ahead and jump into this. I hope I can understand everything. I don't know if it's just my age or if it's um, my ears aren't very well tuned to sometimes understanding all the words people are saying. You know, how sometimes you mishear lyrics in songs, but I'm thinking it'll be easier to understand him because rapping is basically just talking set to tempo, music, whatever. So Hopefully I'll get everything he's saying. We'll see. All right, here we go. I can't be canceled. There's no way that you can stop me. I'm fully independent. There's no label who can drop me. Y'all been starting rumors. Let me help you with some. That is the perfect situation to be in. If there is nobody that can cancel you, if you are not beholden to anybody and they don't have control over you, you are free to be the master of your own universe. You don't have to answer to anybody. And that's awesome. I like that. That reminds me of the social media platform Gab, which built its own everything. So they can't be parlored. That's really terrible what happened to parlor, you guys. That's so awful because there was never any, really anything bad traced to them as far as, you know, everything that happened in early January. That was traced back to Facebook. And Twitter and crap like that. Oh, but they're okay. Nothing happened to them. Oh, makes me so mad. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna shut up. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to Tom McDonald. Just let me help you with some. Yeah. He's a racist. He's sorry, let me go back. People who can drop me. Y'all been starting rumors. Let me help you with some. Yeah. He's a racist. He's a sexist. He's in love with Donald Trump. Y'all can't cancel me. My life is scandal free. There ain't no sponsors taking losses because the brand is me. My hands are clean. My family and my fans agree. Y'all can't cancel me for facts because you're mad and weak. Go ahead and tell the world the ugly and ra- <laughs> Whoa, I like that. Wait a second. You can't cancel me for facts because y'all are mad and weak. That's exactly what happened to Gina Carano. You can debate whether or not you agree with her, but a lot of the stuff that she was bringing out was factual. A lot of the stuff that she touched on was factual. And a lot of times people don't like facts are inconvenient, especially when you've got a certain narrative that you want to be the one that's the winning narrative. And so when other things surface that counter that, people cannot handle it. A lot of people cannot handle it. You know the type I'm talking about. Okay. 
Go ahead and tell the world I'm ugly and racist. I braid my hair and I don't care about cultural appropriation. I moved to the ghetto, lived in the ghetto, there's no Caucasians. And still I loved every single one of my neighbors. How's a man say I'm clickbait? If he gonna use this face to get clicks on his page, y'all hypocrites are made. But I ain't tripping about these bullies, it ain't sixth grade. Go ahead and diss me trying to sell a couple mixtapes. I'm not afraid, take my face and my name, paste it on the front page I'm already famous and you'll never change it by hating or claiming you'll take it away My grind wicked, write my rhymes different, you can try to quantify the fine limits There's a dying gimmick and denying winning, this is pure fire, this ain't white privilege I do what I want, get all the Gucci and Louis Vuitton Out of my closet, out of my crib, I do not want it That is for kids, that is for rappers who ask you to produce their beats for free Pretending online like they rich I am not playing it safe, I said what I said, it is what it is Oh. I don't care if you mad at me, okay? Go ahead and change the channel. No way. Exactly! It's just that easy, you guys. If you are pissed at something somebody has said or done, and we're not talking about extremes like them killing somebody. If you are pissed at somebody because you don't appreciate their worldview, and you decide you're going to, well... Lot, this is what happens a lot of times. They're labeled. Like he was saying, racist, sexist. They're, they're just given all sorts of names. And it's repeated as if it's fact. When really, they just disagreed with what the person said. So they know that the quickest way to try to silence them is to label them. To tarnish their reputation by calling them all these names. And it works a lot of times because most people, they don't dig under the surface of all that to find out what was really said. And a lot of times when you do that, you find out there wasn't really anything racist or sexist or whatever ist or obic in anything they said or did. So, I, okay, I could rant more. Let's go. Playing it safe. I said what I said. It is what it is. I don't care if you mad at me, okay? Oh, what I was trying to say is, if you don't like what you're hearing somebody say or seeing them do, change the channel, change the radio station. There are different artists, uh, whether they're actors or singers, that I dislike for whatever reason, whether it's just I just don't care too much for them as a person because they rub me wrong, or because they have done some pretty, said some pretty awful things that I think is completely... Um, toxic and I don't want to give them my money or my time for the most part. I'm not going to watch a show that they're the star in because of th stuff like that. And so, but I don't want them eradicated. I don't want their jobs taken away. I don't want their, you know, I don't want them canceled. I'm just not going to partake in their stuff. Now, a lot of times these same people happen to be in something that I'm watching, but they're like, Maybe they're not the main actor. So I can sort of, I can, okay, you're not the main person. I'm focused on the main person. But it's just as simple as that, you guys. Take your business and your time elsewhere. Why do you want to destroy the person? Because you you disagree with them so much. That is, that is just so, that is, that is literally toxic. Well, not literally, because it's not, you know, like a chemical substance or whatever. But it's toxic. It's figuratively literally toxic I don't care if you mad at me okay go ahead and change the channel no wasting time trying to cancel me okay they love me because they know that I'm it say what you want I guess it is what it is haters can talk but they can't cancel the kid go ahead and go off try and say this is it but I swear to God you can't cancel the kid Everybody knows my name from local folks to global fame. I'm vocal about the social justice movements. I expose the fakes, turn rappers into ghosts and graves. Make no mistake, they bones will break. I'll throw them in the wolf enclosure, slowly turn and close the cage. Acres full of sheep, you know that I'm the only goat. I'm great, they spoke my name to mostly hate. I don't complain, I'm woke, I wait. A total focus soldier wrote the art of war. No every page, I'm numb to all the dumbness. Smoke tobacco laced with Novocaine. I won't behave, I stoke the flames. I'll choke their throats with golden chains. Use vocal cords as skip in ropes and jump till I am soaked in brains from open plains to coastal waves to solar rays in open space can't find nobody dope unless you poke your veins and snort cocaine whoa y'all can't cancel me 
Just get mad that I'm the man until you smash the screen. Like, whoa, I can handle heat. I walk through hell in open sandals, drinking gasoline. Yeah. I could have been a star, could have had a mansion and a car, and a Grammy album on the charts. I'm a savage, Randy with the bars. I don't rap about Xanax, goddamn it, can't cancel facts. We need answers, championing trash to the masses, actually massively damages, yo. Keep trying to cancel me, yo. I own the masters, so yo. I make the beats, I write the songs, I own the cameras, yo. I could have been famous, dumb my music down till it's basic. Get it on the hottest Spotify playlist, modify my catalog and go mainstream, yo. I don't care if you mad at me, okay? Go ahead and change the channel. Don't waste your time trying to cancel me, okay? They love me cause they know that I'm it. Say what you want, I guess it is what it is. Haters can talk, but they can't cancel the kid. Go ahead and go on, try and say this is it. But I swear to God, you can't cancel the kid. I feel like all these rappers lately on a mission. They start in drama, they don't really want no problems, so they talk in whispers. Don't even start, no competition, y'all are finished. They say they feeling froggy, but I bet none of these frogs gon' rib it. They think I'm soft, but I promise y'all that I'm solid like a rock inside a Teflon box and dipped in carbon fiber liquid. <laughs> I'm not religious, but I walk with Christians. If Jesus died for all my sins, he'd need a million crosses tall as buildings. <laughs> y'all can't cancel me. I'm a god and you're the devil, stop attacking me. Like, whoa, nails in my hands and feet. Y'all some snakes, I don't need fruit from that apple tree. I ain't doing features or buying beats. I'm a wolf, I don't lie with sheep. I am what I am, and I can't hide my teeth. Way too many rumors, I'm like, who said it? Never met him, if he dissed me, probably about to drop a new record. I do what I want, don't matter if I get approval or not. Y'all ain't gonna cyber bully me or try to push on me until I'm becoming some dude who I'm not. Head full of ludicrous thoughts, producing the songs. My music is truth and you brutally shock. I'm shooting my shot, I'm biggie, I'm shady, I'm new school pop. Go ahead and call me a piece of garbage, make a starving artist your primary target. I'm the largest monster in the farthest darkness, I'm a claws are sharp and I'm an army sergeant. If people wanna hate, then I'm grateful. It's only gonna make what I say less painful. Look at my face, embrace, I'm unstable. I ain't gonna break or shake or feel shameful. I don't care if you mad at me, okay? Go ahead and change the channel. Don't waste your time trying to cancel me, okay? They love me cause they know that I'm it. Say what you want, I guess it is what it is. Haters can talk, but they can't cancel the kid. Go ahead and go on, try and say this is it. But I swear to God, you can't cancel the kid. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, sorry if that was too loud. <laughs> that was generating a lot of emotion in me. Um, you know, if more people had that sort of outlook, you know, just live and let live. You don't bother me. I'm not going to bother you. Well, no, I'm sorry. But the problem with that is, um, let me let me correct myself. I can't say you don't bother me, blah, 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 blah. But the thing is, every, people get bothered too easily by other people. I guess, I don't know. Maybe, the, maybe the, the, the right phrase or quote is live and let live. You do your thing. You let me or whoever do their thing. As long as you're not killing somebody, basically, or doing something, you know, heinous like that let it go you guys I mean stop stop with the drama stop with like Twitter is such a cesspool pile on I don't even know why I'm there honestly but I I have I have an account there you know for my channel it's connected to my channel and I'm there I post stuff and I there's people I follow but it is such it is true it is such a cesspool I honestly don't know why I even spend the time or any time at all, because as soon as you log in, almost everything trending is something toxic. It's very rare that it's just something nice and benign. It's almost always something with the little, the little children on Twitter trying to cancel somebody because of microaggression, cultural appropriation, racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, somebody said this, somebody didn't put their pronouns in their bio, so we're going to destroy her. And that was how the whole thing with Gina Chronicle started. 
And I have seen people give their rendition or their summary of what happened with her. Well, this happened to her because she's transphobic and she's this phobic and she's this racist. And there was nothing in what she said that was like that, you guys, because I started from the beginning. I was watching it from the beginning. I noticed this stuff. Yeah, she poked back at some of the people who were harassing her. And, you know, they've just been foaming at the mouth about her ever since. And they succeeded in getting her fired. And I think I think what happened to her is, is an absolute travesty. It's disgusting. Even if I didn't like her, even if I had completely different viewpoints from her, I would think, like, like let's say, on the flip side, Pedro Pascal did and said some things that, to me, were far more egregious than whatever she's been accused of. And yet he is applauded by the same people that have been trying to destroy her for over a year. If he did something, if the mob decided to turn on him because he said something that they deemed wrong, you know, anti-PC or whatever, I would still feel the same way because I don't think it's there's anything good in the long run about trying to utterly destroy someone just because you don't like the way they think. I don't see anything beneficial for society about that. And I don't know what it's going to take to make it stop. I don't know. It doesn't help that you've got mainstream companies, you've got big tech, and you've got corporations that, sorry, it's time for me to do my yoga, which I need. When you've got big tech and big co corporations, uh, media outlets, the entertainment industry, when you've got all of those big entities taking the side of those types of people because they are made up of those types of people. And when, or when you have them bowing down to the outrage mob, when is it going to stop? Because if the big companies would stop doing that, if they would stop giving these outraged little children what they wanted, they would just, I mean, more people would just ignore them and they would just go away to their little hidey holes and just bitch and moan amongst themselves. But no, they've got so many people at their beck and call. If they scream, the big entities are going to be like, okay, what can we do to make you happy? We don't want to make you upset. When really, I would be willing to bet that the amount of people that are made up of this, this little bully mentality type of uh, folks, you know, you know, the type I'm talking about, they're probably a min minority of people that most people don't really feel that way, but they are so loud and they pitch such a fit and they are so effective at getting themselves heard because of, you know, all of the stuff involved in spreading their message that you think that everybody is as toxic as that as that and it's not the case i don't i don't believe that's the case at all but it's really disheartening to see them be able to cause so much destruction of people personal destruction economic destruction by by getting them fired you know and it's good when you're not beholden to anybody like this gentleman I wonder how long his videos are going to stay on YouTube, honestly. I'm surprised that stuff like this is up here. I really am. I mean, he brought, I'm sure he's got his own plan. But, you know, you can go as far as, okay, eradicating someone like this from YouTube. If he's got a website, you can, get, you can put so much pressure on the website host that they'll pull their support, like what happened with Parler. There are so many ways that you can be utterly destroyed if they decide that that's what they're going to do to you.
and this that's scary it's crap you guys there there's there's nothing there's nothing sorry I'm, I'm just getting so into this just there's nothing okay about it nothing okay about it you can't convince me otherwise It really bothers me. It, it it bothers me because it's it's so prevalent. It's so destructive. And they're so in their little crazed, furious mindset that they're not even stopping to think about the damage that they're doing because they don't give a crap. Unless it would come around and bite them, then maybe they'd care. But they don't care because they're on the side of the ones doing the attacking and the destroying. They're not the ones on the receiving end. Oh, just just bothers me. It, it, it's really disturbing. I, I'm so glad that there are people like him and other artists who are sort of trying to, you know, they are just standing, they are their own person and they are standing their ground and they're not bending the knee as we've heard it, as we've heard it mentioned to the outrage mob. Don't do that. When you do that, when you start to do that, you give them all the power. They can, they, they will never stop because they'll never be satisfied with just that. They'll want more and more and more and more. And I think the only way that's going to stop is if more and more and more people push back against it. And I'm not saying going after them personally and destroying them. I'm not saying do that to them. I'm saying it's not going to stop until more and more people, including companies including things like the entertainment industry, actually put their foot down and stop. The entertainment industry, I don't know. They might be a lost cause because these are the same people that are sucking up to places like China. And yet they're acting like what Gina Carano did was so abhorrent and please. Mm -mm. I don't know if the entertainment industry will ever clean itself up. As far as that sort of thing goes, I just, I just don't, I don't know. They might be a completely lost cause. And it may be that there's going to be other sort of more independent type of outlets. Like, I mean, you know, he's his own person. You know, people that just, they don't have to answer to anybody. They just do their own thing. They create their own stuff. And they be, that might be what's going to end up happening. Yeah. I don't know. There's just a lot of, a lot of thoughts rolling around in my head. I, I don't, I can't quite, I can't always adequately put it into words. My thought process on this sort of thing. But, um, no, I, I think, I think his message is pretty clear and I agree with it. I look forward to seeing the next video of his and I'm going to try to see if I can hunt down something else of his that I saw. I, I know, I know I've seen something else of his because one of my brothers, I think my brother, the artist first mentioned him to me a few years ago. So that's why I recognized him when I, when I saw his face. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I need to go look it up and find, find out. But anyway, whatever, that's just me talking to myself. I'm going to go ahead and stop because I can, I can feel that I'm just getting kind of, I'm going to go ahead and do some yoga because it's time and I need it. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for hanging in and listening to my rambling. If you made it this far, I, whatever, hope you have a great evening or day, depending on whenever I put this up. Okay, guys, bye. Bye.